G'day, today we're going to be having a look at a great way of multiplying two numbers together using rounding. I'll start with an example. 21 multiplied by 143. Now as I said, we're going to be using rounding to multiply these two bad boys, so let's start with that. So our first number that we have here is 21. That rounds pretty simply to the nearest tens number of 20, so I'm just going to write that above it. Now for the second number, the bigger number, 143, we're also going to round that to a tens number as well, but there is a catch. We want the 20 here to go nicely into the number that we round to. So, and I've kept this easy for now, let's round this 143 to 140, which 20 goes into seven times. In fact, I'm going to jot this over here because we're going to be using those numbers. That is 20 multiplied by seven, which would give us this 140. And we're going to be using both of these numbers to get our answer. Our next step is nice and easy. We just see how far each one of our numbers is from the number it rounds to. So 21 is one more than 20, and 143 is three more than 140. Okay, there's been nothing too difficult so far, but this is the part where you're gonna to wanna to really pay a bit of attention. So starting with our smaller number here, the smaller distance of one from 21. We're gonna multiply this distance here by this seven here. So one multiplied by seven. We're gonna multiply these two numbers. And when we do that, we're going to get the answer of positive seven. Now what we're going to do is we add this positive seven to our 143. Positive seven plus 143 gives us an answer of 150. Now what we do is we're gonna multiply by this second number here, by this 20, 150 multiplied by 20. Not very difficult, 150 multiplied by 20 gives us an answer of 3000. Now finally, to get the units digit here, what we're going to do is we're gonna multiply our two differences here and we're going to add it to our 3000. So one times three is equal to three. So we're gonna add that on to 3000 and we have our answer 3000 plus three, we get our answer of 3003. Anyway, how's that? A great little method of multiplying using rounding. The last couple of steps, they are a little bit tricky. We'll go through another example in a second, but you get used to them pretty quickly. By the way, if you like this trick, please leave a comment in the comments and give that like button a bit of a whack. So let's go through another example here. 53 multiplied by 307. Now you remember that first step, what we're going to do is we're going to round that smaller number. That's going to round to a 50. Our second number, we're looking for a rounded number to the nearest tens that 50 goes into. Nice and easy, the number 300, because we have 50 multiplied by six, which is equal to 300. Now what we do is we're going to see how far each one of these numbers is from the rounded number. So 53 is three more, and 307 is seven more. Cool, and we'll be using those in a little bit to get our units number as well, if you remember. Okay, so now to the bit that was a little bit tricky last time. We're gonna start with our smaller difference once again, and we're gonna multiply it now by this positive six. Okay, brings it up to the rounded part of 300. So positive three times six is equal to positive 18. And we added that to 307. 18 plus 307 gives us the answer of 325. Now what we do is we multiply our 325 here by 50. So 325 by 50 gives us an answer of 16,250. Finally, we work out the units part by multiplying the two differences here. Positive three by positive seven, we're gonna add on 21 and then get our final answer. So 16,250 plus 21 gives us our final answer of 16,271. So it's pretty cool, right? Not too bad. Just remember those final steps and you'll be okay. Like I said, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and leave me a comment telling me what you think of this trick. So what about a couple of these that you can now do? So the first one we're going to have is 34 multiplied by 152. Get rounding and see how you go on that one. And then we're going to have 47 multiplied by 408. And we'll see what that equals. Anyway, pause the video and see how you go on these ones. And remember, give us a like and a comment. It's much appreciated. Have you done that yet? Okay, let's go through these answers. 
All right, so first off, we have 34 multiplied by 152. That rounds to 30. 34 rounds to 30, it's four more. And 150, well, that rounds to 150, which goes pretty nicely because 30 goes into that five times. So we're going to write that over here, 30 multiplied by five. Uh, so, okay, let's do the how much the difference is here. So 34 is four more and 152 is two more. Now what we're going to do is we do our multiplication. So we have four times five, which is equal to positive 20. So we're going to add that on. 152 plus 20 gives us an answer of 172. Now what we do is we multiply by 30 here. So 30 multiplied by 172. The answer when we do that is going to be 5,160. Finally, let's multiply two by four. Two times four, we're gonna add on eight to our answer and we get our final answer, which is 5,168. Anyway, hope you did all right with that one. Let's get to the next one over here, 47 multiplied by 408. 47 rounds really nicely off to 50, and 408, well that rounds to 400, of which 50 goes in eight times, so 50 times eight. I also know that I could have rounded this to 40, but I'm just gonna show you what happens when we get a negative number here. So how far is 47 from 50? Well, it's three under, and 408 is eight more than 400. So now let's go through and do these steps here. So the first step we did is we multiply our negative three by eight. So negative three times eight gives us an answer of negative 24. So instead of now adding 24 to 408, we're going to subtract 24 from 408, which gives us an answer of 380. Finally, we're gonna multiply our 380 by 50 to get the tens part of our answer. 380 times 50, the answer is 19,200. Finally, what we do to get our units part is we multiply positive eight multiplied by negative three, which gives us an answer of negative 24. So we're gonna take 24 off. We get our final answer now, 19,200, take away 24. We get the answer of 19,176. Anyway, that's a great trick, right, for multiplying two numbers using rounding. As usual, if you like this trick, please serenade that like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Do it now. As usual, a big shout out to my patrons. There is a link in the description below if you wish to support my channel, and it's greatly appreciated. It really does help keep things going along here. Anyway, we'll see you next time.